sponsors asked me to tell you it's time for the Alan Young Show. Yes, it's the Alan Young Show, brought to you with the best wishes of S.O. Standard Oil Company and 25,000 independent S.O. dealers. From Maine to Louisiana, more motorists drive in for S.O. Extra than any other premium gasoline. Your nearby S.O. dealer is in business to help you and your car. His station is a shopping center for all round car needs. Here's S.O. Extra Motor Oil for heavy duty performance, plus Atlas tires, batteries, spark plugs, oil filters, everything for real happy motoring. Young Show. Our guest star, Frank Sinatra, featuring Ann Rutherford, and starring Alan Young. Friends, if you've watched television, and I'm sure at one time or other you have, well, you've seen the television salesman particularly this time of year, it's the type of show where they offer you tremendous bargains just by calling a certain number. Something like this. How do you do? Hmm? <laughs> Welcome to the television bargain basement. It's covering the entire Southern California area. Um, oh boy, have we got things for you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> first we have, well oh, first of all I'd like to show you our phone number, would you, no. <laughs> you got a phone number. Well anyway, <laughs> we have tonight this wonderful camera. This has a feature you don't often see in too many cameras today, you bet you. This has a, re a recording bellows which gives you instantaneous pictures. Hey, right? That's wonderful. Now wait. <laughs> Take pictures and any type you just we uh marvelous for taking pictures of the feet. Uh, <laughs> only pictures of the feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, telephone number is right down here. Uh, you get it? That's fine. We're selling this camera for only $4.95 because it hasn't yet been put on the open market yet. When this camera is put in the department stores, it will sell for $2.50. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you want this, just phone this number if you want the camera. Hudson 91368. If you're out of the toll free area, don't you dare reverse the charges, please. <laughs> oh, before I forget, with this camera, we are giving away, at no extra cost, this wonderful silver polish. It only costs 10 cents a bottle. You see? It will clean the dirty of silverware. If you have silverware that is at all tarnished, you just dip it right into the polish like that. You see? You wait a few seconds, and then in no time at all, the whole... <laughs> <laughs> it's quite strong. <laughs> Our next bargain is for you men. Right here we have a Jim Dandy Jiffy Quickie thing. Uh, number's right down here. Yeah. Up again, please. <laughs> uh, this, is, uh, this is our new Jiffy Quick Lather Machine, you see? This sells for $1.98, will automatic, automatomically, automatically make lather <laughs> and soften the hardest beard. You just switch it on like this. There we are. <laughs> you see? And then you just catch enough for one shaving right there, you see? Then you just switch it off and your lather, you will... F you, uh, you'll find you have, these, this lather is chock full of little holes, which in, which in no time at all will soften, which in no, <laughs> in no time at all will soft, soften your beard. This, this will, this will save you hours of, this will save you hours of work. <laughs> Jiffy Quick Lather Machine, we are giving away for you this perfectly good mallet. 
<laughs> now, our final bargain tonight is one that I'm sure you would like to all give to your friends as a perfectly wonderful gift. Mm. This is a Sputnik 21 Jewel solid imitation gold wristwatch. <laughs> this watch retails at your leading stores for $95, but we are giving it away tonight for only $3. Now, I can see you looking at me, and you are saying, how can I do it? But I will tell you how we handle this wonderful offer. I've asked Mr. Sputnik to come down tonight to explain to you in person. <laughs> how do you do, Mr. Sputnik? Would you please tell us how you can afford to give away this $95 watch for only $3? I can't. Please don't buy any. <laughs> oh, <Mr. Sputnik. laughs> You and your car belong in this picture. Uh, come in close. For honest-to-goodness happy motoring, treat your car to Esso dealer services. There are lots of reasons why you'll enjoy the experience. The main reason is right here. Esso Extra Gasoline helps any engine perform its best. It's the only truly anti-stalling gasoline on the market. A second good reason is Esso Extra Motor Oil. It's a heavy-duty oil that stands up under punishment and bathes your engine every mile you drive. SO Extra Motor Oil helps keep moving parts clean and young automatically. For all-round good car care, front to back, make it a habit to drive in at the familiar SO sign, the sign of happy motoring. I think this should be a very simple case. As a matter of fact, I think we might term it as a case of uh, nervous tension. <laughs> Mr. Young, do you find that uh, ordinary, everyday noises seem to disturb you to an extent? That's what it is, Doctor. Little noises. Oh, little noises drive me crazy. That's you why do, eh? I, I just quit my job at the factory. You did? You see, I operate the trip hammer. Oh, I yes. Stand that, uh, that banging, that clanging, that pounding. Yes, I can see where that would be quite a strain. The tiniest little noise drives me right out of my mind. It does, eh? Yeah, in fact, tonight coming home, I, I went eight blocks past my bus stop. Just because I, I couldn't bear to, to press that buzzer. <sighs> well, I see this is a very severe case. But it's nothing out of the ordinary. You see, Mr. Young, the, 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 the body is somewhat like a machine. And it, it will stand up under a, a wear and tear of, of uh, normal living. But after a time, that finally must wear itself down, and it comes to an end. And because the delicate machinery of the, of the, of the, of the body <laughs> must take a period of rehabilitation. Ah, but nature, nature has given us the finest remedy. You must stay absolutely quiet and calm. That we must insist on. <laughs> <laughs> Little bangs, little noise, little noise. Gets me. Yes. I jump, I jump. Just, just I, I jump. It easy. Just I jump it all the time. Now here, just wait a minute. Tapping, I tapping, you, bang. I want you to take a, a, a spoonful of that. Just it'll, it'll, it'll relax you. Relax yes, me. Yes, relax just, just take a spoonful. That's right. <laughs> here, here, let me help you. Please. <laughs> take it easy. Shake it. Little noise. Little shake. Banging. Now just take one little spoonful like that. Spoonful. Yeah. There we are. That's wonderful, Doctor. Thank you. This will fix me up. Take it very easy. Yes. And we'll put this in the bag. <laughs> and uh... <laughs> Well, the noise, the zip, the noise. Yes, yes. Gets me. Yes. I'll come in and see you again tomorrow afternoon, Mr. Young. Doctor. Now, in the meantime, I'd like to make you comfortable. Supposing you sit over in that nice armchair. Oh, relax. And take it easy. Come Lie over back. here. Okay. Yes, that's right. Oh, the noise is speaking! Oh, yes, yes. Just, now, just, just, just take sit, it easy. Sit quietly. Now, just sit back in the chair yes. and just take it nice and easy and relax. Yes. And ah. just take everything nice yes. and quiet and everything will be all right. Thank you, Doctor. Yes. Thank you very much. Now, I'll be on my way. All right, Doctor, thank you. 
Eat well and rest, that's the thing. Oh, definitely. All right, Doctor, thank you. Oh. Oh. Ah, yes. Ah. Ah. Arr! Rest, relax, he said, relax, no noise, take it easy. Oh. Ah. <laughs> noise. I'll fix that. I'll fix it. Yes. Ah. There. There. Oh, the noise. Uh. Rest. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Uh. Oh, the noise, the noise. my souvenirs? <laughs> no, but my son can. <laughs> now there's a nice neighbor. Here. Now play this, Jimmy, and loud so we can really enjoy it. No, Sonny, you go on and play. Say, why don't we play in here? Okay. Oh, oh that's wonderful. Everybody's quiet. Oh, Bert.
I also want to thank our orchestra leader, Lud Gluskin, for playing the part of the little boy in the last scene. Ooh! Millions, yes, millions of car owners know and appreciate SO Extra motor oil. They know it for its clean performance, for its long-lasting oil economy, for the way it protects automobile engines. Now, SO Extra is better than ever. This new, improved, heavy-duty motor oil provides extra protection against two kinds of deposits that kill an engine's power. See this? This is varnish. Like sludge, varnish can put the Indian sign on your engine. But when you use this new motor oil, piston varnish and crankcase dirt don't get any encouragement to form deposits. And when your oil is drained off, the dirt is drained off too. Drained out of your engine and thrown away, it helps keep your engine clean. This new, improved SO Extra motor oil provides late model, high compression cars with the protection they need. And it provides all automobiles with motor oil that lasts, that fights corrosion, that helps engines live longer. Ask your own nearby Esso dealer for new, improved Esso Extra motor oil, the best motor oil ever sold at the Esso sign. <laughs> Kids are lucky these days to be given gifts like this. I didn't get a teddy bear like this till I was 24. <laughs> Easy. Oh, well. We'll meet again. Don't know when. Don't know when. But I know. Clerk, like clerk, you you take care of me. I'm in a hurry, please. Clerk, please. Carmen Lombardo. Oh, well, business before pleasure. All right. Ah, now, sir, what can... In the store, Frank Sinatra. Yes, yes. Uh, you see, I'm on my way to my television show, and I have a few moments, so I'd like to pick up a little gift to my nephew. Oh, nephew, all right, righty. Boy or girl? <laughs> boy, hmm? and he's eight years old. Eight years old? I have just the thing. Hmm. A detective outfit. They love these things. Oh, good. <laughs> Here we are. Private eye detective kit. Been selling like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> selling quite well. This is a real gun. Then we have the badge for the boy. Oh, that's done. The pièce de résistance. Real handcuffs. Oh, the little boy. This is where you work, you see. They get their daddy like this and say, there we are, put it on here, you see? <laughs> then they put this on here and say, come along with me, you desperado, you. <laughs> hey, that's very cute. Yeah. Would you wrap this? I'd like one of these. Be delighted to wrap it up for you, sir. I, uh, yeah. I have the key, please. The key, yes, of course. Yeah, yes, the key, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you look in the box, there's no key. I don't think a key comes with well, these. Look in another box. That's the only box we have. Look, I don't have much time. I gotta do my show. Well, I gotta go. It's only a child's handcuff. I'm sure it'll come off. You've gotta get me out of here. My producer, everybody I, be yelling. I'm I've sorry, got to go to the show. I'll try my best to get it Look in the box or something. I've looked in all the boxes. There's no key in here. Box. I'm sure we Must can't. be a key Look, here. I'm awfully sure I can do nothing about it, sir. Well, I've got to get out of here. You better get me out of these handcuffs. Well, look, we'll try to look around, but if you've got to go to your show, I've got to stay here in the store. I cannot help you, sir. I'm sorry. I Sinatra Show with Frank's guest this week, Miss Ann Rutherford. And now, here is our star, Frank Sinatra. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome again to our show. We get things going this week with Cole Porter's Night and Day. Axel? Night and day. You are the one Only you Neath the moon Or under the sun 
Whether near to me or far It's no matter, darling Where you are, I think of you Night and day Day and night Why is it so That this longing for you Follows wherever I go In the roaring traffic's boom <laughs> Silence of my lonely room I think of you <laughs> Steady. Night and day Night and day Under the hide of me There's an old, such a hungry yearning, burning <laughs> And its torment won't be through Till you let me spend My life making love to you Day and night, night and day. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You'll forgive me, of course, for doing the manner, the manner, the song in this manner, but. There's nothing we could do about it. I was shopping just before I came over to do the show, and I went in to get a toy for my nephew, and this young man sold me a detective kit. It's our best line. Yeah. <laughs> but as you know, the old proverb about uh, the stage, the show must go on, so we'll go ahead. Uh, John, would you set the scene, please, for the next one? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we now present the outstanding dramatic scene from that hauntingly beautiful play which is such a tremendous hit on Broadway at the present time, Heart's Desire. The scene is the bridal suite of a small hotel to which our lovers have fled on the first night of their elopement. And here are Anne Rutherford as Judy, the shy, lovely bride, and Frank Sinatra as Adolph Wendlin, the dashing playboy. <laughs> at last. Yes. I bought some champagne for us. Oh. Happy, darling? Oh, deliriously happy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that no one will ever come between us, darling. No one ever will. I drink to you and me and to our happiness. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious champagne. Just wonderful. Yeah, I think so. Do you really love me, Adolf? <laughs> oh, I love you. For myself alone? Of course, for yourself. I care nothing about your father's millions. Uh, Don't you trust me? Trust you? I trust you with my very life. <laughs> Here, my darling. The keys to the vault. Everything my family possesses. <laughs> Oh. Is something wrong? Nothing, nothing. Oh, you can tell me. We're one now. Well, if you must know, it's that scoundrel Ronald. Ronald? <laughs> Why, darling Adolf, that's been over for months. And besides, Ronald never meant anything to me. No. You know that. I'm not so sure. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Just what do you mean? Are you going to tell me that he never tried to kiss you or whether he did kiss you? We were friends, nothing more. <laughs> A likely story. Oh, but it's... <laughs> it's true. Every word of it's true. Oh, Adolf, just put your lips to mine and you'll know it's true. Never. Oh, kiss me. Please, Adolf, kiss me. Oh, kiss me, please. <laughs> 
Please. No. <laughs> Heartless beast, you. <laughs> oh, darling, forgive me. Please forgive me. I shouldn't have treated you this way on our honeymoon. Oh. You know I love you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's Daddy wondering where we are. Maybe it's Ronald looking for a date. Oh. Maybe it's my boss wondering who's watching the store. <laughs> Darling, let's not answer it. Good. Let's not answer it. Let's just pretend that we're the only two people in the whole world. Oh, yeah. Maybe my wife calling. She worries if I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> you, darling. Adolf, promise you'll never leave me. I'll never leave you. <laughs> I'll always come back to you. Then let there be nothing but laughter and music. Yes, laughter and music. Adolf, dance with me. I love to dance with you. Oh. I love you. Let's oh, not waste any more of these precious moments. Oh, no. We have so few moments. Oh, yes. Ah, at last, I am free. Free of all jealousy and doubt. And you're mine. Come fly with me. You're mine oh, alone. Oh, Adam. <laughs> Thank you, and I'd like you once again to say hello to our guest for the evening, Miss Ann Rutherford. Ann? <laughs> oh. Well, Ann and Frank, as long as you're out here, won't you say something? Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. I hope you've had a good evening. We've had a very nice one. I hope you're all back in here next week at this same time. Meanwhile, drive in to see your S.O. dealer, will you? Tell him Alan Young sent you. Good night, and happy motoring. Join us again next week for the Alan Young Show, brought to you with the best wishes of your nearby S.O. dealer who is in business to serve you and your car. We hope you enjoyed our show and will be with us next week. Meanwhile, remember, happy motoring starts at the S.O. sign. Included in tonight's cast were Herbert Rollison, Dix Alexander, and Chester Clue. Here are some scenes that never should have taken place. They are the result of accidents that never should have happened. They happened only because in each case somebody was careless. Yes, carelessness causes automobile accidents that never should happen. Here's a safety note you may have seen from your car. It has been a reminder for motorists along the highways from Maine to Louisiana. S.O. reminds you to drive carefully. This is the CBS Television Network.